Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second round game between the Louisiana Lafayette Ragin' Cajuns and the Duke Blue Devils. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Blue Devils are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First of all, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Second, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. And finally, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now trying to feed the low block. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. It goes in the foul. You talk about Will. This senior has it, baby. He was putting that in no matter what. They will line him up. He makes it. Look out. The defender is smacked by that screen. Trying to feed the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great shot. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. From the top of the key. Oh, yes. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He makes a nice shot. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Now the high screen. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. From the top of the key. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Down inside. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure in the basketball. Looking for contact. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Boy, terrible execution on offense. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. post flashes they've got a three-point shooter spotting up he dials long distance great execution that's offensive efficiency at its best patience with the ball as the offense regroups the shooting guard receives the ball and the ball goes out of play Go into the low block. Steals a pass. He keeps his dribble as they reset. For two. Buried it. The point guard receives the pass. Defense! 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 
Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits his first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon in the end. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with his back. Where's he going? Moving it around the perimeter. Lockhart handles the feed. He fouled him. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The shooting guard handles the pass. The raging Cajuns have got to continue to get him the ball. Glad he's on fire. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle, drains the shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. the outside they've left him completely alone oh, right right there they missed him inside you gotta get the ball when the guy is open that's a special art feet in the post controlling the ball and there's a lazy pass it's stolen away turnover will it turn into two the other way showing maturity by waiting for the o to regroup he beats him to the punch defensively what a terrific job footwork really excellent on a post play Trying to draw the foul. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. Dump it inside. Hale is feeling great out there right now. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Duke are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. Hale makes a tray. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. On the dribble, gives it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He sinks it. He gets it to go.
Got some of nylon, MBM. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for a good shot. Shoots from outside. He gets the bucket to fall. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He drains the shot. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Defensively, doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle, makes the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. On the outside. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Goes. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the three. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Puts it up, looking for contact. Duke are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Entry pass in the paint. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Sealing them off. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. Got a nice screen. Here's a double team. Short, pump fakes. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Tan on the shot clock. They'll work it around the arc. The skip pass is picked off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Turnover City, though, always really the gate. Any offense. Here they go into the break. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Pushing that basketball. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Goes for the deep one. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Entry pass in the paint. Looking for the foul and off the mark. This kid's been nothing short of magnificent on defense. He's creating absolute havoc out there. Leans in. And he scores despite the half. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Double team now, bad angle. For two, and he missed. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance to really to win. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And gets it to fall. and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. On the outside, gave it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dribble gives it up. Got a wide open look. They work it around the perimeter. For two, perfectly executed. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Intercepted. And a momentary look from three-point land. Here's the three ball. He shows the sweet touch. The Blue Devils will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the angle. He drains the bucket. He looks for the bomb. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. There's a double team waiting there. Good job defensively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The ball goes out of play. post player flashing Meeks makes a great move to draw the foul oh and he's not going to be happy with that call well silly foul right there but look at his face his facial expression tells it all at the free throw line Opportunity sinks it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. From three point land, he hits the shot. At the end of the first half, the Blue Devils lead by three. We've had a tooth and nail battle so far, Dick. What was the play of the half, do you think? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. 
Duke displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? He attempts the three. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Dumps it in. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you what, when coaches go nuts, if that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here, and you get balled like I am. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires from long range. perimeter ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man he goes with a jump hook and the ball goes out of play oh that's gonna be a costly turnover day. I tell you turnovers can absolutely destroy a team try to come up with a steal and they do in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know what? For me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He unloads a three. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. He puts up the tray. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, man. He's got to move the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He up fakes. With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to drop. in front to take it away. The ball goes out of play. There he is. Strips the ball loose. For the deuce. Lays it up. what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He fires away. Hale has told his team, hey, get on my back, so to speak. He is carrying him right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Obvious foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Post flasher is open. He shoots from long range. Nice shot. I need to see that again, Brad. Next 
sweet spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Duke have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. He's open if he wants the shot. Unloads a three. Too strong. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Steals the ball. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Takes the pass in the paint. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. And he got them both. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. On the outside. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. Ivy draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the pair. Hits the first shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Gets two at the charity strike. The power forward takes the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. Kicked off. Pushes it. Kicks off the lazy pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots, makes it. The Blue Devils are up by seven. That's a foul. This packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Bring it up. Steal. Now 
he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. They really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, quarter timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Timeout's called. Dick, you think the coach is trying to slow up this run a little? Absolutely. He looks calm over there on the sideline, but I bet he's steaming inside. Get ready to resume the action. Definitely a foul. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He gives him the fake. The shooting guard takes the pass. Galvin pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He steps up to the line. Gets the first shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Second one, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. the circle they work it around the perimeter great play to take that to the basket they'll work it around the arc gave it up he shoots from the top of the key they let him get into a rhythm Side. Tries for two. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, partner. Time's running out. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Perfectly executed. Let's take a look right here. Basic. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Raging Cajuns are behind by 15. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Off the rim and no good.
picked off. The power forward with the ball. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Up and inside. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. The center gets the pass. From right in the circle, and he misses the shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Takes away the pass. The point guard gets the ball. Up and inside. Picks off the pass. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Accepts it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of knocks it home and one. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. They work the perimeter, and they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the elbow. Sinks the shot. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Play that back for me one time. so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. For the bucket. Duke are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to put an offense. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up, takes the pass in the paint, and the ball goes out of play. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Pulls the trigger. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Got the high pick. The 
The Raging Cajuns have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Duke are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Look at that spacing. Pump fakes. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. It's a fast break possibility. That's good. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Looking for contact. Gave it up. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I close screen. Gonna use it. For two. Got it. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They work the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. He gets the bucket. You can't get away. He got the layup to go, and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. He's mocking the crowd. Now, that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He can't get one to fall. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. On the inside. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't blow that, baby. The fake for the deuce. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They move it into the front court. Strips the ball. This could be a highlight. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside. He goes for three. Drains the shot. in the paint trying to draw the foul that spin move not going to work against the defense I'll like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin 
Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. the defense here now. Take it away. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Erickson's inferior play is really affecting his composure now. He's got to snap out of it. His team needs him. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Shot clock is dead. Working around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's the pick. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it. Keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when we look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the bank is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Duke graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.